God damn. Welcome to another episode of Stud Talk. I'm Vinay. I'm Bree. And you know, we do it for us, but also, you know, me and Bree, we, <laughs> we do, do for it the studs. for studs. Yeah, okay, cool. What are we talking about? Something I don't want to talk about, but we're going to talk about it for y'all because, you know. You know what's so crazy? She came up to me with this topic and they're going to be like, mm, should we do it? Because then I have to talk about my ex. I don't feel like doing it. I've never had sex before. We're going to talk about our goddamn first times. That's very impressive that you never had sex. We're going to talk about our first times. I mean, first times, what? Riding, you know, a bike, cooking, cleaning with each other, going grocery shopping to Walmart. But then we, we realized we're really close. We could really go to Target for real. We could really Ooh. go to the movies, <laughs> you know? First time for everything. You know what I'm saying? It's important. Well, I'm talking about sex, so I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be two separate directions of the video. That's cool. Do I got to start off? You definitely got to start <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off. Take me back. Where were we? We back in 2014. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we back in 2014. This got to be, this is my freshman year, yeah. And I was dating this girl since like the summer after ninth grade into my ninth grade year type. So, you know, it was some place. It wasn't real for real. That was just like, you know, my first girlfriend type shit. Anyways, I used to like sneak to her house sometimes because her mama ain't want no company. Her mama really didn't like me because I was already gay as I feel You feel me? me? And I feel like, what was she? She was somewhere from the islands. You know, people from the islands don't play that. For real. So I was over there while her mom was at work or something one day. And then I don't know how we got on the subject, but it was basically like, yeah, we want a hunch. So that's what we did. We just started a hunt. It was a deciding factor. Like, God, should we have sex right now? Like, is this where it's going? Your mama at work. You know, the house empty. Your cat's in the other room. Like, this is a perfect opportunity. So if you did bring the cat into the room, would it have, like, killed the whole scene? Or? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. Give me, let me get there. Let me get there. Let me get there. So, like, I was sitting on some kitty sh and she had hair. And I was like, girl, you got to go shave. I'm not doing that shit. So she went to go shave. <laughs> no, I told her to go shower and go shave. Because I was just, I was an ass. I was an ass. I was like, you got to go shower and you got to go shave. And that's what she did. But somewhere in the middle, she didn't get through the whole process. But we're going to get to that a little later. So, <laughs> so we get to the room or whatever. It's like, boom, we doing a one-two. We kissing, you know, having a good time. and Feeling the vibes, as they say. We getting through it. I'll tell you that. But <laughs> we, um, we start and we get into it. I'm, it's time for me to do the thing, you feel me? The thing, the thing, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool. I get down there and I'm going, I'm like, hmm, it's not that bad. But I ended up feeling like some shit on my tongue. I'm like, okay, maybe she missed a couple of hairs. But I'm like, nah, but well, this shit is in my throat. <laughs> in your throat? God damn it. Y'all try when the audience kid. <laughs> Listen, if you're if you're doing the do with a woman, you shouldn't have anything in your throat. I mean, it could, I mean, there are certain parts that could be bigger than like, but it's like at no point should it be like damn. In your throat. Kind of deep, like, yeah, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm like, damn, I know that she ain't know the Rapunzel type. So I back up a bit, and I'm like, uh, hair all in my mouth, oh, kid. I just realized like, that you was, said Rapunzel. Oh, shit. Okay. All yeah, right. yeah. All right. So I'm like, damn, it's hair in my mouth. And it's not no one or two hairs. Now, that shit is like a glop of fucking hair just all in my mouth. That shit. I'm like, damn, should I embarrass the fuck out of her right now? Or should I keep going? Stop. What would we do? What do we do in this situation? We embarrass the fuck out of her. That, oh, no, I'm kidding. We, I ain't do that. I ain't do that. But um, <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not like that for real. But whatever. Like, um... Anyways, I'm like, cool, I'm going to just, I'm, I got to see it through. My boy ain't come up here for nothing. You feel me? So I keep going. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, her mom come banging on the door. Boom, 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 boom. And we fart. We, 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 <laughs> we freeze. I mean, what can you do? We freeze. We're like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm scrambling for my shit, trying to get my clothes and shit. Mind you, I'm already high as fuck, because back then I used to smoke like a and I had my raw papers and my lighter in her room or whatever. She's like, you got to go in the other room. You got to go in the room, go in under the bed, go into the bed. So I'm in the room with the cats now. And her mom, like, she come through. She's like, why you got the door locked like that? Like, she had her chain on it. She's like, why you got the door locked like that? And she was making her little excuses or whatever. Mind you, my phone, all my shit is still in her room. I just got my clothes on. It's just, I didn't even have a shirt on, matter of fact. 
I put my bra on and my pants and I went under the bed. So we in the room, or I'm in the room under the bed like shit, with the cats and shit. They over here sniffing around like, who the fuck are you? And I'm As like- they should. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck going on? What side are you on? <laughs> I mean, I'm on your side, but like, if I was the cat, it's like, God damn, you got hair coming out of your lips. It's like, and it's not my hair, it's the cat. So what's going on? <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I'm under the bed. Her mom like, damn, it's my like, we didn't hear. Who was here? And she like, nobody here, nobody here. So she following her mom around the house because now her mom looking for me. She like, she going in. Mind you, her mom on her lunch break right now. So she like, she going crazy trying to find me real quick. Boom, boom, busting in rooms. She coming to the room where I'm in. All I see is they feet walking across the bed. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm done. That's it. You know, in that moment, if it was me, I would have I would have did something dumb as like cough or something. I'm not going to lie. I had a cough. I, I was holding that shit for my life. Motherfucker would have sneezed or something. Life. Gave my location away. My, my ringer was on, though. So she texted me. She was like, turn your ringer off, you idiot. I'm high as fuck, so I'm like, I'm just high, and I'm texting my cousin. I'm texting my cousin, like, this bitch got me under the bed. Anyways, yeah, we get there. I'm texting, um, whatever, her mom come in the room. She started playing with a cat. So I'm sitting there trying to watch the steps, trying to see if she's looking under the bed and shit. Heart going boom, boom, boom. Anyways, her mom go back to work. And she like, okay, you could come out now. I come out. She's like, all right, let's go finish. I was like, girl, what the fuck? You think I'm about to stay here and finish after this horrible experience? So she stayed. I don't want to give out her location, but anyway, she like, she like, she was like three miles away from my house. Not three miles, but you know, three hours walking type shit. And nobody was answering my calls. I can't fucking drive, so I did the walk. Three miles all the way to the house, and I don't regret it because I wasn't gonna stay there for her mom to come back trying to get me. I didn't even tell y'all, she took my Raws and my lighter. Damn. And I couldn't buy it. I'm a fucking minor, and I looked like a little kid. So I had to wait for somebody else to go get my shit. Yeah, it was just a tough time. Long story short, just don't, don't do it. God, this sounds familiar. What are we doing, logs? Shout out to logs. Screaming. Y'all probably don't know about that shit right now, but you will. God damn. Why are, why are our stories very fucking similar? Yeah, what's up with you? Ah, but nah, I thought your story was going to go a different way, because you say, you know, caught some hair. Like, you know, the experience was actually, your first time was actually pretty good then, right? What? <laughs> you didn't that talk was about the, the worst sex. That was the worst. Oh. I mean, I don't want to go into too much death. What are the kitties? We're on YouTube. <laughs> Them kids. Yeah, <laughs> our first time's having sex. If I got to get into it, you got to fucking talk about sex. You want me to talk about the whole experience? Not the whole experience. You know what? Get the people what they want to hear. All right, I'm going to just go backtrack to the sex. <laughs> I'm going to go backtrack I mean, I to the talk sex. talk about my story. I don't go she didn't give me no head or nothing. We got to my part, and I left. That was it. We was kissing for a yeah, little bit. She didn't really know how to kiss, though, so it was kind of bad from the start. She was, I don't know. She, she wasn't gay. Long story short, she wasn't gay. She wasn't gay. gay? She wasn't gay. 2014? You remember a couple of episodes I was talking about? She ended up having, like, a girl ended up having a kid with somebody? That's her. That's her. Yeah, she had a kid a couple of years later. Oh, God. Damn. So, my first time the girl, right? God damn it. I'm not gonna talk about my first time because that shit, right? No, like, this is the recent girl, the last girl I was with, shout out to you, I love you, you know, we cool, we cool, we cool. She, she texts me Happy New Year and shit, I was like, same to you, you know, you know, but I fuck with you. Um, I've been fucking around with this girl for a, a good amount of time and shit. Um, we were cool. I was like, let's make it official because I ain't gonna do shit unless, you know, you're my girlfriend. So she's like, cool. So. The day comes where it's like, okay, let's take this to the next level. Mind you, I never really used extra equipment and no shit like that before. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, it's not gonna be in my car, like, fuck that, like, before I crash this shit. Like, all right, cool. She invites me over to her house. Both her mom and her dad are at work. So I get there, cool. Bro, she, you know, she, she take her clothes off. You know, I take my clothes off. I put on the extra equipment, the awkward as Cause I'm like, how the fuck do I get this harness on? Bruh. And the dick keeps falling out the fucking hole. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself in front of this girl. But you, you know what? You had the pull strap one, huh? I don't even know what kind of strap it was. Bro. But it's like one with like, you gotta pull the strap. It's like the, the boxer type? The boxer type? Oh. But you had to put it in the ring. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all might know more than me. Mm -hmm. I'm new to this shit. So I'm like, okay, you know, you knew, I'm new. She ain't never fucked a girl before either. So I'm like, shit, you don't know. I'm <laughs> So it's like, right. all right, we get to the do, you know, I'm going down. 
I'm going down. Right, right. <laughs> and she's like super excited to get to the, the meat and potatoes. So <laughs> I'm getting down to the, the meat and potatoes. And I'm like, you know, God damn it, how the fuck do you niggas do that shit? Because God, the fucking thigh work and the, the goddamn cardio <laughs> and shit like that. I'm like, I have a live rest for 45 seconds. I'm tired. Like, you don't want to do something else? You want me to... What's the, I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, let's, move, let's move away from this like, shit. I hate doing this shit. It's like the first time I realized, like, y'all can strap. Like, I, I'm cool. Like, I mean, maybe on the holidays, like... Screaming. Especially Thanksgiving. <laughs> Christmas. Nigga, Halloween, like, we could really throw this shit, but, like, every day, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. Practice so, makes perfect. I don't or progress, I, mean, I should say. Yeah. It's, damn, this is probably PMI. She got to be on top. Like, I don't like being on top. Like, I, I hate it. You, you, you feel what I'm it's saying? It's too much like, work. It's too much work. Okay, like, you agree. Again, and then it's like, close to y'all niggas, because I can't do that shit. Like, I refuse. And she, you know, I did. You know, I, I, I went for her, you know? We do it for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. She gonna be, she gonna say, "Hey, I saw the episode of Stud Top in there." That's what she did. I lie to talk though. About? Did I lie? Because <laughs> I know she watches. Um, oh really? Oh yeah. Mm. But um, yeah. So we get done doing the do, and we are, you know, want to make some brownies. I'm like, sure, fuck it. Like, let's order food. Let's let's really kick it. Like, I'm really getting comfortable in her environment, in her home. Right. So we, you know, we cooking. All of a sudden, we hear a car outside. Oh shit! Mad confused. Like at least you got the warning, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, because you heard the car outside. We like what the fuck, and then her mom walks in like two seconds later, and she got on the booty shorts, and it's like <clears throat> I'm there. I, I'm fully clothed. Like we really just making brownies, but you could kind of tell like you just fuck my daughter. Right. Like, <laughs> it's like, but she looked at me immediately. It's like oh fuck, like niggas was scared. So she had to play it off. She's like, oh, yeah, mom, this is my friend. You know, she wants to come over. She was in the area. So, you know, you know, we're just making brownies. Like, how the fuck does that sound? Mm -hmm. Your friend was in the area and we Y'all decided to make Yeah, brownies. just cook. Like, this shit don't make sense. Like, we was busting down. So we, I'm, I'm trying to talk to her and engage with this lady. Backstory, they are Caribbean. Like, mm. they're Caribbean, like, Jamaican descent. So it's like, I already know, like, she's not me at all. So this lady kind of treating me kind of like, up and you know I was like damn like you didn't even know that was your daughter but I didn't even have my hair cut at this point like I really I mean I still look like a stud I mean there's nothing I can do about that but she knew like you act like you didn't know but she knew like mm -hmm. that was fucking your daughter and she didn't like that shit she didn't engage in conversation we ordered PDQ we ate and I was like yo I gotta call my homie I was texting this nigga like crazy like yo I gotta go to your house because he lived like 10 minutes away so I got I to gotta get out of here because I cannot stay here with this lady, like, the tension, and she going to find some shit. I was like, yo, where the dick at? Like, did I leave it on the fucking floor somewhere? Like, yo, there was so much running through my head. I was like, so she was trying to, like, distract her mom and shit. And I was like, all right, like, let me go find it. And, you know, I found the dick, and I gathered my belongings, and I got the fuck out of there. Bro, why you keep saying it like that? Because I'm... I, I say shit direct. I, I, got, I grabbed the dick. And I, I got the dick, bro. I got the dick. It's stud talk. It's gay. Like, we got the dick. Anyway, so I got out of there. I really, like, rushed over to my friend's house. Shout out to Nakai. Um, and it was just like, I told him what happened. He was like, yo, that shit crazy. Like, 15 minutes later, this girl texts me, can you, can you come pick me up and take me to work? Sure. Sure. So I did that. I did. Because I was like, whatever. Like, I know you want to be out of that situation, too. So I went. Picked her up, took her to work, and yeah, we talked about it. Her mom doesn't fuck with me, and we broke up. Oh, that same go... day? Um, <clears throat> no, not the same day. Oh, okay, I wanted to ask you: Was she enjoying it while you were having a bad time? Mm -hmm. I, I would hope so. I mean, you could tell me. Drop down in the comments. You with that sex? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> one thing about it, bro. No, I'm good at other... listen. I'm not gonna. Why? Like, I'm good at other things. <laughs> but that's... I tried my best. <laughs> what the, like, the fuck do you want me to say? Nigga. <laughs> like, all right, moral of the story, bro. You cannot go over to a girl's house knowing that they got parents and they're not home. Nine times out of ten, them are coming home. Oh, shit. They're coming home. At you got to plan it out. At least with somebody that's out. You know what I mean? Because now if they not there, it's not a big surprise when they show up and you got... 
you know, your mouth in their vagina type shit. If we would have got caught in the act, bro, I don't know. That would have been a dangerous situation. Cause I had some. That's a story for another time. Damn. Story for another time. Crazy. Like we have crazy stories, but like I, I just like God. I would be exposing people. I can't be doing that. But like yeah, you Open know, people. It shows experience too. Yeah, we do it for us. We do it for y'all. But yeah, man, that was pretty much my first time doing a specific thing and realizing I don't want to do it again. Maybe I shouldn't do it with her. Was that your last time? Yeah. Mm. I haven't had sex in a year. Oh, too much information. Jesus Christ. I don't give a <laughs> Fuck it. Sell a big game. I mean, if any of y'all want to change that out there, just let me know. Hit my DM. At it's just goddamn for there, you know? <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck, I had a question, but you came out with that celibus game shit. Um. <laughs> I don't fucking know, kid. Anyway, start of the week. Oh, uh, start of the fucking week. <laughs> God damn it. Who the fuck do we have? I am Navy. Shout out to her, bro. Nay on Instagram. She's really dope. She came up with this really great, like, LGBTQ, like, car drinking game. Mm -hmm. We're going to buy it, and we're going we're gonna to play that for y'all. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking go. Let's yeah. do that shit. I don't know. It's out yet? Is I don't know. I'm going to check. It's probably out. I'm going to check. We're going to copy it. We're going to play it for y'all just to, you know, Support other people, you know, what we doing. But yeah, shout out to We Do It For Us Family. Shout out to Melanin Gang. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Melanin, shout out to Melanin Ed Studios. And yeah, we gonna catch y'all in the next fucking episode of Stud Talk, man. We gonna, you know, shout out to y'all. We done. We do it for us. We do it for us.